Hmm. Who says that toppers don't have fun? Well, today we have an inspiring story of a neat 2025 topper from Indore. A student that balanced biology with badminton and study sessions with solving Rubik cubes. His father dreamt to become a doctor, a dream that remained unfulfilled up until now as his son takes on the journey to make that dream come true. Let's welcome aboard our problem solver, Utkarsh Avadia, All India Rank 2 and Madhya Pradesh State Topper, NEET 2025. Hi, how are you? Fine, ma'am. Congratulations. Thank a you, A big congratulations, actually. Thank you, how are you feeling? So, I am feeling very, very overwhelmed. Uh, this uh, achievement, the magnitude of achievement that this is, I mean, achieving AI2 among uh, lakhs of students is a very, very, uh, I would say, daunting task. <laughs> it is, and it's phenomenal. All India Rank 2, it is beyond great. Uh, tell us about your support system, about your family. How did they help you shape this journey? So, my family consists of my father, my mother, my younger brother. In my whole two-year journey, I was living in hostel, but I was uh, constantly in, uh, connect, in connection with my family. Mm -hmm. I regularly used to call them. and They helped me. Uh, they motivated me. They kept me in touch with the society mm -hmm. and never left me uh, behind. Uh, I never felt like I was like uh, not in contact with uh, uh, the society or my uh, any relatives or other. So they looked after you all yeah. through and through. Uh, I'm assuming everybody in the family is absolutely elated, but I'm very eager to know how your father is feeling. So after the result, my father was very, very happy. But as you know, like a typical Indian father, his emotions were quite subtle. He was not like very, very overwhelmed. He was happy, but he did not express it like... Explicitly, as, yeah, loudly explicit, in, yeah. in that sense. But you could feel his happiness, yeah. right? That's wonderful. Uh, what motivated you to take this up as a career? So as you said, my father's dream, that was one thing. Another thing was uh, as I lived through the COVID period, I realized the importance of doctors the uh, everyday difficulty they face, they, the kind of act they do. It is a noble profession. That was also a very, very big factor in my uh, medical. That's very kind, very empathetic also, I must say. Now, I will tell a statement. Hmm. You will tell me if this statement is right or wrong. Ready? Hmm. Okay. Toppers only study, they don't have any other life. Nahi hai. No, this is very, very wrong. <laughs> it's absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. <laughs> so please tell us what are your hobbies and interests? How did you manage your study serious time mm. with some fun time in between? So study was their part. Study was consistent. But along with this, I used to do various activities such as playing volleyball, badminton, solving Rubik's Cube. I also used to occasionally watch one to movies or such. You did this during your preparation time? Yeah. That is so encouraging. I'm sure all the... Aspirants watching you over here will be pumped up that, hey, if you could do it and you got an all in your rank <laughs> too, so can we. Mm. So that is fantastic. Your younger brother is also in Akash, right? Yeah. Which, assume, which I'm assuming has made your experience on Akash also very, very great. Mm. Could you elaborate a little bit on that? So my experience with Akash started with Anthe. In class 10th, I gave Anthe. After giving Anthe, I got like 100% scholarship in my class 10th. So I joined Akash after the Anthe. After after this, I have specifically started preparing for NEET in class 11th. In all through the two-year journey, my teachers in Akash have been very, very helpful. Along with this, the modules, the schedule, the tests such as NBTS, AIATS have been very, very helpful for my entire journey. That's nice to know. Let's talk a little bit about your study routine. Hmm. We hear that uh, you uh, used to study for one to two hours and you took a periodic break after that. How did that happen? How did that help and work best for you? So, yeah, this is very correct. I used to study for one to two hours. After that, I used to take a, like a 15 to 20 minute break. That was very, very necessary because after studying for like two hours continuously, your mind gets exhausted and there is a need to refill it, like rejuvenate it. Because if you are studying continuously for more than two or three hours, the productivity goes down significantly and there is no productive output. That is why taking break is very, very necessary. So was it a conscious part of your study schedule to ensure that you're taking this 15 to 20 minute break in between of So your... I would say it happened because after studying for two hours, I got exhausted. So it was necessary oh. to take break. So it was your mind that also told you that you should take these yeah. breaks. Okay, uh, neat examination. We know it is demanding. We know it is overwhelming. 
you're at the desk, you're just about to attempt the paper. Yeah. How were you feeling? So before coming to my desk and before sitting, I was feeling very overwhelmed. I was, I would say, quite stressed. But after sitting in my desk, and because in my desk I sat for around like one hour before start of the examination. After sitting there for one hour, I started started feeling a bit relaxed and I started my paper with a calm mind. So you just allowed time yeah. to take your anxiety down and then the relaxation part came in. How, how important do you think it is to be calm and relaxed? So I would say that is very very important because in my entire paper, the starting, I would say uh, for the first five minutes I was quite calm. But when I saw the paper, it was quite difficult. So my stress level increased and increased and increased. But after around, I would say the two hour mark, I realized if I start taking this much of stress, then my paper is going downhill. So I calmed myself for two minutes. Then again, I re uh, released all the stress and then did the last hour of the paper with calm mind. So those two minutes that you calmed your mind helped you get all in your rank too. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I want to correlate to. Thank you so much for talking to us. And before we leave you, one piece of advice that you'd like to share or tell the future aspirants. So the one piece of advice that I would like to give the future aspirants would be to be consistent and avoid procrastination. That was simple, sweet and quite crisp. Uh, Utkarsh's journey tells us over here that you don't really need to follow someone's study schedule. But what you really need is some smart planning, some consistency and focused approach. So all the aspirants watching Utkarsh's story right now, do remember, don't wait till tomorrow. Start today, remain focused and sleep well. After all, even toppers need rest to rise.